Baltimore Ravens fans, we have come such a long way. So I need y'all to pat yourselves on the back first and foremost. And when I say we have come a long way, I mean that in several different ways. Now, something that we touched on briefly uh, in a previous video was with Eric DaCosta. He was talking about how it was crazy that people were actually calling the Baltimore Ravens, calling them asking about their wide receivers, trying to trade for their wide receivers and even some all other offensive players. But he specifically focused on wide receiver. And you know how big that is, especially for Ravens fans, because think, think about this. Remember these days and for some people, they still living in these days. But remember these days where if there was a disgruntled wide receiver on another team, if there was a receiver on another team who had just been cut, even if they weren't even that good. Oh, we were ready for him. We were ready for him. We were like, hey, bring him on. Bring him to our team. Come through. Let's get it. Let's go. But with the current state of the Baltimore Ravens and their wide receivers, we have not been doing that as much, nearly as much. It's, it's still, we'll be doing it sometimes still, but we haven't been doing it nearly as much. Like even recently, Mike Evans. Mike Evans, one of the best receivers and most consistent receivers in the league. Now, hey, look, look now. I still wouldn't mind it, but Mike Evans, one of the best, most consistent wide receivers in the league, apparently he's disgruntled with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And apparently him and his agent, they gave the Bucs a deadline of, I believe, September 9th for them to get a contract done or else we breaking off contract talks. Breaking it off. Now, normally, normally, on a regular day, us Ravens fans will be all over that. Be like, hey, bring me Mike Evans. You will see 50 million different pictures and edits of Mike Evans in a Ravens jersey. But I didn't see not one when that news first broke. I really didn't. Not one. Not a single one. Now, I did, of course, see some Ravens fans talking about, hey, Mike Evans, welcome to Baltimore and whatnot. But not nearly as much as we're used to. So the fact that the Baltimore Ravens are at this point with this team, that says a whole lot to me. It really does because it, it, it lets us know that, wow, we, we actually got something special. We really do. And if you go down piece by piece by piece by just set the receiver alone because that's what we're focusing on. And it, it's crazy. We mentioned this in another video, and I know other people have mentioned this before, but it's crazy to think about the Baltimore Ravens and wide receiver being a position of strength for them. They got Odell Beckham Jr., First round draft pick, former first round draft pick, came out broken so many different breaking so many different rookie records and whatnot. His impact was immediate. Yeah, he has dealt with some injury history throughout the course of his career, but he has also, um, more than one year, multiple years, been considered one of the best wide receivers in the league. And it's not just based off of one catch, but Odell Beckham Jr. had established himself. And he was looking real good before he, his ACL came completely apart. And, well, I mean, it wasn't even there in the first place. But when, before he got his surgery, he, he was looking nice with the Rams. He was looking really good with the Rams. It was like, oh, oh Odell's back. So not saying that, okay, he's going to be the Odell of old. Even though Lamar Jackson said, hey, Odell looking like Odell. So, hey, Lamar, I'm going to take your word for it. You ain't never lied before. So um, we're looking forward to that. But Odell Beckham Jr., special receiver. He's been a special receiver. Then you got an up, a, up and coming receiver in Rashad Bateman, who he can be special, but it's just a matter of time. For me, with Rashad Bateman, it's not an if, it's more like a win, if he's going to be special. And the reason I say that is because we've seen it. We've seen the flashes. We've seen him run that whole route tree. So he got the route running down, but then along with the route running, he got good speed too, and he got such underrated speed. Rashad Bateman's speed is slept on. For the longest, I slept on it. But after last year, no, 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 I stopped. I woke up. So Rashad Bateman got it. All he got to do, if he's on the field, if he plays all 16, 17 games, we're good to go. Rashad Bateman will be good to go. I guarantee it. Zay Flowers, first-round pick. We heard so much hype about him in mini camps and OTAs and whatnot. Some, some people were saying, oh, he looked like the best receiver on the Ravens. Like, okay, really? But then we heard more about him in training camp. They said, he really getting some Ravens cornerbacks. He really doing them nasty. It's like, oh, okay. Well, those are his teammates, so maybe they're taking it easy. Washington Commanders, they did joint practices. He lined every single one of those corners up and did every one of them nasty. And then it was like, okay, maybe he's just a really good practicer. Maybe practice, that's his thing. He be killing it in practice. Let's see about the real games. Very, his very first NFL game, very first one, Ooh, it was nasty, filthy, in a good way that is. 
Zay Flowers was like that, man. He looked really, really, really good. And then he played again. And he still looked good. So he, he just continued that consistency. And again, we know it's preseason, but if he did bad in those games, we'd be having a whole nother conversation. But we're not. We don't have to. Nelson Aguilar, another first round pick. Zay Flowers was a first round pick too. But Nelson Aguilar, another first round pick. And his career has been up and down, which is yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, does he need to be the number one guy? No. Number two guy? No. He could be number three, number four. But with Nelson Aguilar, for him to be him to be your number three, number four wide receiver, that's a that's a beautiful thing. Cause I'm sure it's gonna be Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham Jr., Zay Flowers, and then boom, Nelson Aguilar, big play guy. Then you got Devin Duvernay too. Devin Duvernay, somebody who hasn't even reached his maximum potential in the NFL yet. Somebody who has been slowly ascending. Especially after last year when they really started using him as a wide receiver a lot more than they had before. Devin Duvernay got something too now. Don't sleep on Devin Duvernay. But the fact that he is a wide receiver, he's the jet sweep king, even though he's trying to throw away that crown. Uh, he can be this gadget type of guy. He's also a return man, so he's on special teams too. Devin Duvernay can do so many different things. So with the Baltimore Ravens, they're five locks at receiver. Obviously, you got Tylen Wallace as well who probably only dropped to the fourth round in the year of his draft because of injuries. But when you think about the Baltimore Ravens and their current state of wide receivers, we're not trying to hype them up at all. We're not trying to hype them up. They, they are, we've seen a lot of them have already shown us who they are, what they can do. And with Zay Flowers, we look forward to seeing it on a more consistent basis in regular season games because he's shown us on every single level in the NFL that he's been on as far as like mini camp and practice and training camp and preseason. He showed us then. He, he showed us that he can do it. Now, okay, just keep doing what you've been doing. Show us in the regular season too, and I am sure that he will. I'm sure that he will. So, Ravens fans, we, we, we've come such a long way, such a long way in the receiver department. And I should be grateful. We should be grateful. Because the, the reason we should be grateful is because we, we know what it's like not to be in this position we know what it's like to be one of the teams that's looking for a receiver wanting our team to trade for a receiver needing a receiver being like oh man what are we doing at wide receiver we know what that's like we done been there for years for literal years it's always seemed like man they just don't do enough they don't invest into the position they don't care about receivers like that i mean harbaugh even said hey we ain't gonna back for no receiver we ain't doing that but Shotty said, hey, forget what he said. Odell, I'm calling you directly. So I love it. I love the state of the Baltimore Ravens wide receivers right now. And that's something that's crazy to say. It's really crazy to say. Now, uh, in the year where they had Hollywood, Sammy Watkins, and Rashad Bateman, I didn't think it was bad. I thought they should have done a bit more because I was just scared that Sammy Watkins might get hurt because of his injury history. Um, and that injury history has showed itself because he got hurt and he ended up missing. Then Rashad Bateman, he, he ended up getting hurt and missing some time too. Um, and with Hollywood, and that's the thing with Hollywood, man. Say what you want about Hollywood, but he was always there. He was always available. I think with the Ravens, he might have missed like maybe one game, something like that, but nothing crazy. You cannot count on more than, you can't count on one hand the number of games that he missed with the Ravens. So Hollywood, he's been available. But anyway, um, I know some could say, hey, Odell Beckham Jr., he got that injury history too. He certainly does. He does. But you bring Rashad Bateman back. Well, you could say Rashad Bateman, he got injury history too. He does. Well, you got Zay Flowers. You got Nelson, you got Devin Duvernay. So again, with the guys that have the injury history, it is the top two receivers. So that is concerning. So that's a legitimate concern. I got no issue with that. Um, but that's why it's important that you have quality depth. And the Ravens actually have quality depth. Y'all, we came such a long way, man. We really did. Uh, uh, another way, off the receivers for now. Um, another way we came such a long way, uh, just this offseason. Because remember this time last year, we all think, okay, is Lamar going to get the contract? Is he going to get the deal? Is he going to sign? What's going to happen? Nothing. They came and went. And like, oh. But now that's behind us. That's behind us. I've said it before. It felt it feels like that whole Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens contract saga. It feels like that was so long ago, but that was just months ago. 
Like literally It's September now That was going down back in March And it ended in April And of course all the months prior to then It was going down too But it ended in April It just ended Not even five months ago Less than five Because it was the end of April It was the very first night of the draft That's when Lamar Jackson signed his contract Very first night of the draft That's when it went down So That was recent but that the whole process just feel like it was so long ago and it it was such a long process all at the same time too but we way past that now so that's behind them and, and i heard a commentator mention um so i don't know if it's espn or what, whatever show it was but somebody mentioned how with the baltimore ravens uh and their chemistry and, and the report that they got with each other right now just the vibe right now um they didn't have that last year and they think that maybe the, the contract part was a big part of that and, and i do believe it would be because if I if I love my job, if I enjoy my job, but I'm having money issues at my job, oh, <laughs> I ain't going to be the most friendly co-worker. I'm not. And I'm not saying that Lamar was like mean to people or anything like that, but I may not be in the best of spirits. I may not be in the best of moods if my money ain't right. Because that, that'll mess with you. Hey, trust me. I know from experience. Y'all remember the whole demonetization thing? Oh, that, that drained me, man. That drained me like crazy. Because... I was working, not getting paid, and YouTube was so unclear on everything, unclear on their rules, their policies, their procedures, all that stuff. So that was extremely frustrating for me. But I can imagine being in another position, I'm getting paid now, but if my money's not right, if I feel like I should be getting paid more, but then I got to work with a big group of people too. And we all got to depend on each other. So I'm thinking about the money, and I'm frustrated about that, and I'm wondering, but when is it going to get fixed? But I still got to go, go out there and do a job. I'm going to do the job now. But it's still going to be on the back of my mind. So I, ain't, I just ain't going to be in the same space. The same headspace that I would be if that situation was taken care of. So I'm not saying that's what it was with Lamar Jackson. But it could be a possibility of that's maybe what it was with Lamar Jackson. But now they ain't got to think about that. So everybody can move forward. And that's why it seems like this team, just they just been having so much fun. They've been on, just, just, they've been on some other stuff, man, in a good way. So we excited for the ride, man. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Hey, it's, it's a lot to come. It's a whole lot on the way. This is the first week of NFL season, and that's how we really came a long way. Of course, we got the Chiefs and the Lions this Thursday night, but then on Sunday at 1 p.m., we got them Ravens and them Texans. So it's going to be a fun one. I'm excited for it. I know y'all excited for it, too. This should be a really fun season. I'm excited to see just what happens. With the Baltimore Ravens, with just the NFL as a whole, but with Team Keep It Clean, too. I'm excited to see uh, any growth, with the small growth, large growth, we'll see. I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited for everything that's to come, and I'm excited that y'all are a part of it, and I appreciate y'all. Team Keep It Clean, just like we are when it comes to being in the offseason, we are officially out.